everybody Ann here, the lovely Miss Judy and her little sweatshirt because it's cold outside. I've already had my coffee. I wasn't even going to make a video today, but I'm going into town. i got to get some chicken feed and some Tums and some other stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'll just take you on along. And oddly enough, after a few days of freezing cold temperatures and me not going into town for, I don't know, it's been like four or five days. It's been a few days. This truck started right up. I could not believe it. It started right up and it wasn't making that funny sound. It's running great. So I'm on my way to the post office. There it is, my cute little post office right off to the right. See that? I got a parking space right up front. Right on, I'm gonna go in and check the post office box. I don't think anything's in there, but we'll see. You gonna be okay in here, girlfriend? I'll just be a minute. Look at how pretty she is. And yes, I am wearing a mask. Let's see if I got anything in my post office box. Don't know. It's going to be a surprise. Informed delivery didn't say I had anything. Let's see. Junk mail. Junk mail. Junk mail. Yep, nothing but junk mail. And all of this has to go in the garbage because it's too glossy. So. I'll take this in with me and burn it in, in fire. You know what's going to be totally hilarious is after starting up right away, if it doesn't start up right away, again, and this has happened in the past, so let's see. Woohoo! Next up, Tractor Supply Company. Got to get me some chicken feed. And yes, I am wearing my mask again. Go me! Oh my goodness, would I love to have one of these. I think this is probably the cheapest one, and look at that price. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. I'd be in heaven. Look at these cute little chicken coops they've got. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. There's one for 199 That's a rabbit hutch. Yeah, those are both rabbit hutches. Very cute. I still like my van coop better. I had to turn the sound off at this next part because there was music playing in the background. But yeah, that's what I'm going to get. 16% layer feed, $8.99. One of my subscribers got this for me and the hens and Romeo seem to really, really love it. So yeah, 40 pound bag. And look at this. I'm thinking about keeping some bees. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. But look at this price. Mmm, that's a little bit steep. Yeah, that's a luxury maybe someday down the road. Who knows? But they've got everything, I guess, that you need to be a beekeeper. I know nothing about keeping bees, so that's going to be a huge learning curve for me. Yep, but it'd be fun. Honestly, guys, I could spend all day in that store. There's so many things at Tractor Supply Company that I want. It's just crazy. But, uh, let's see, I gotta go to, I think, Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite places here in Henderson, Tennessee. Thank goodness they put one in here. All we need now is a Walmart Supercenter. Yay, I got all my little shopping things done. Went to the post office, tractor supply, got my chicken feed, Dollar Tree, got my, my Tums, my air freshener, some, some Benadryl in case I can't sleep. I've got, oh, I got picked up some things that I can do little crafty things with so I might get crafty here in a day or two and this girl here this girl Judy she is just so chill she's so different than Betty was when in the van you know every time every time I'd start slowing down in the van she knew that I was gonna get out so she would start flipping out and then as soon as I tried to get out oh my gosh it was horrible it was such a stressful time and imagine living and working out of your van with a dog that gets anxious every single time you try and get out of the vehicle. It was really, really tough. So this girl, she just likes, she just likes riding around with me. I get out, she knows I'm coming back, and she just looks around and it seems happy the whole time. It's, in fact, it's the only time that she stays really chill. So I'm on my way home now. I don't know what else, if I'll get any of those crafty things started today, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I decided to take a little walk around the little fledgling homestead and I'm really glad I did because my favorite mushroom tree well guess what there are mushrooms and I'm pretty sure these are fall oyster mushrooms I'm gonna pick a few and just see if that's what they are gosh I sure hope so I would love to have some mushrooms with my dinner tonight 
As it turns out, this is a late fall oyster mushroom and it is edible. It also has medicinal properties, so you better believe it. I'm going to cook it up tonight for dinner. I'm going to throw it in some soup. All right, well, that's Judy getting into. Let's see? Leave it, Judy. It's just a chicken. You be nice. She just wants to play with it. She wants to play with me, too. She seriously just wants to play with it. You silly girl. <laughs> Would you look at that? I just walked up to my front porch after mushroom hunting and I got all these pretty birds right up on my porch. I went over to Mr. Lucas' property and although I didn't find any edible mushrooms, I did find some really pretty things. These were growing all over a tree stump. Here's a, another view of them. Very gorgeous. Um, I don't know what these are. I mean, are they turkey tail? I'm not sure. I'll find out. But here's a closer shot of it. And these are all pretty aged. They were all pretty dried and crispy. Here's what it looks like on the underside. Really beautiful mushroom. But alas, I don't think you can eat them. And then I found this really pretty tree. Look at it. It looks like a holly tree. But aren't holly bushes like bushes? It's got these beautiful bright red berries on them. Here's another shot way high up in the sky. They've got all these beautiful red berries on them and I don't know, it looks like it's shaped. Oh, and here's a horizontal photo of it. It's a big tree and it's just really pretty. So yeah. And here's another log I found with some more of those weird kind of mushrooms on them. But you know what? This is different because when I turned over the log, look at that. It just looks like totally hairy, hairy underside to the mushroom. Weird. Very weird. Here's another close up of it don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up in my mushroom book. I don't know. Maybe I'll let you know. Very cool. Believe it or not, it is almost right before the time I need to put the chickens up. I need to throw some more feet out there so that they can have their bellies full and so they can be warm at night as they digest their food. Um, so gosh, today went by so quickly. It was just a beautiful day. It was cold, but when it was sunny outside, it was really, really nice. And I went over and talked to Mr. Lucas for a little while and he's working on that chicken coop. He's put up like um, a barrier on one side to keep the cold north air wind from coming in and he put some more slats here and there and whatnot. So he's getting that all ready for the chickens. I'm excited. I can't wait till they're ready. Um, I don't know. They might be ready now, but I'm still going to wait. I'm going to wait till right before Christmas and then take them over and just see how it goes. Anyhow, yeah, I got some stuff to do some crafty things. <laughs> Maybe make some Christmas ornaments. Uh, Country Girl made some Christmas ornaments, so now she's got me inspired. Yeah, I got some stuff from the Dollar Tree. Just going to be very, very basic. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Who knows? Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.